this moment in chapter four of All About Love caught my attention because I've heard so many great things about this particular book that Bill highlighted. It's called The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem, where its author, Nathaniel Bradens, does a deep dive of what makes up a healthy level of self-esteem. The book is actually in my Kindle as we speak, <laughs> and I'll admit that it's on my extremely long to read list, but I do plan to get to it. Anyway, Bell talks about how when you, uh, when your heart has been broken or heard that it can be challenging to truly learn self-love. She explains that it is possible by prioritizing the time to overcome any elements of low self-esteem that you may have. And this makes sense because if you don't think highly of yourself, you probably will have a difficult time loving yourself and thus making it challenging for you to think you deserve healthy love and not the experiences you've had that leads to a broken heart in the first place. To explain this further, she highlights what Nathaniel says are the most important dimensions of self-esteem. They are, and I quote, the practice of living consciously, self-acceptance, self why can't I talk? Self-acceptance, self-responsibility, self-assertiveness, living purposely, um, and the practice of personal integrity. So think for a moment, how well are you in exercising those six areas? I admit that I now feel motivated to push uh, to read that book, <laughs> move it on up to the top of the list, as I'm interested to see how he explains this further. So stay tuned.